Hey all Supernatural fans and all fans of the shop. Uh, today's video, or for this week, is going to be kind of a little different. Um, I recently found out that I have two fans uh, that have followed uh, my YouTube channel. And they're just really big fans of what we do here in the shop. And they're big fans of Supernatural. And... I wanted to kind of give a little shout out and make this video um, for these guys. And these guys are pretty young. Um, we have uh, William Burke, who is 11 years old, and his brother JJ Burke, who is nine years old. And um, their daddy is Jay Burke, and he is in the process of building a supernatural impala. And I help him out whenever I can or whenever he needs the help and stuff. So this video is dedicated to uh, William and JJ. So boys, here's the thing. I know you love these cars and your daddy's working on it. And it takes a lot, a lot of work and a lot of money. So you guys need to be helping him out. And I know you guys watch these videos and you know how these cars are being put together. So... It's a great thing to stay with your dad and to learn how to do these cars. Uh, I'm sure somewhere down the road, you boys are going to get to own this car, get to drive this car, um, and your daddy's doing it for you. So you want to be part of that and you want to learn how to do these cars. And I really appreciate you guys for following this channel and, uh, you know, being interested in this kind of stuff because believe it or not there this is a kind of a dying art uh, most people don't want to learn how to work on their cars and stuff like that anymore so you learn from your daddy and you're going to go really far in life now always be good men listen to what your dad says uh, and life will treat you guys right it's always good to be around good people and when you become a good person, good things happen to you. Sometimes life's not fair, and it's tough, but you'll always come out on top, and I can promise you that. Uh, so what we've got going around here today, boys, is uh, a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of stuff that's been going on. So I'm going to kind of give everybody an idea what's been going on around here. Uh, Bronco here, it's all in... Uh, primer, uh, or getting almost getting ready to get shot. Uh, the SUV, which we have right over here, sitting out here outside, um, it's been all painted up. Now they just got to put the front in. So we're trying to get this one out of the way, this one out of the way, and the convertible, which is all covered up. We're just waiting on the people to make the uh, paint choice on it so we can get that out of here. Because we've got a lot of Impalas coming in. And we got Impalas sitting over in the back uh, that need to be moved up here. So this is what's going on. Uh, hero number one car here. This is Francis. Uh, Francis is just needs more block work and making sure the body is as straight as an arrow. Um, and... The guys really haven't been, uh, you know, this is sad because they haven't been touching this car because it's going to take a lot of time to do this, to get this body work perfect. And what they're trying to do now is they're go we're going to try to eliminate the Bronco, uh, obviously the Suburban that's out there, and the convertible. Those are like our main three things that we're going to try to focus on because these should really move out of here pretty quick. I think um, Don has said he's going to have Bronco out of here like maybe next week. This should be all painted and everything. And then the convertible, as soon as we get a paint coat on that, we'll, it'll be coming out of here. We know uh, the Suburban will be leaving probably today or somewhere in there. And then it's going to be all hands on deck. So this one's going to start rocking and rolling. Uh, this one, there's just obviously a lot of body work to do. Uh, this is the Venonator, um, and it needs a lot of TLC. Um, Sammy over here, we've got the chassis all tore apart. It's all painted, 
We're going to probably be pulling the motor and the rear end out of this, getting it all set up in this chassis here. I might be starting that next week um, while the guys are trying to bust out, hopefully be working on these two cars or at least getting these other ones out. And then we have a car over here. Uh, this, is, this is kind of a thing that came up unexpected. Um, now, I know Cassie and Matthew, you guys are wondering how come your cars aren't up here. I, I keep promising you, and I, and I really do mean it, uh, we have your spots over here. Uh, you know, back up in there, that's where they're going to be. But this car is going to go to a museum in Branson. Uh, we got a, I got a call last week from Scott. He's the owner of this museum down in Branson. It's a celebrity car museum. Uh, so cars that were owned by celebrities. Uh, I know they got some Elvis stuff in there. Uh, Hugh Hefner. And then they got cars from the movies from Triple X, The Punisher, uh, Knight Rider, Miami Vice. I mean, A-Team, you guys name it. And 90% of the cars in there are original movies straight from the set. Uh, so if you guys ever get a chance to go down to Branson, me and Don went down there when we picked this car up, and um, it is, it's really, really cool. You guys got to get down there and we'll go through this museum. It's definitely worth the money, I promise you that. Um, so anyway, this car, uh, we, we brought it in. There is a, a very short deadline on this car. And right now, the big question is, um, what engine are we going to run? It's got a little 283 in it, um, kind of smokes. Not To me, it's kind of not a very good engine for this car. So we don't know if we're going to go with a crate motor 355, if we're going to go a crate motor 502 on it. Scott still, i got to get him the numbers over and so he can adjust and you know figure out how he wants to go with this car. However it comes out, I can assure you it's going to be screen accurate. And then Scott will do shows with it. It will set in his museum. Um, but you guys will get to see this car being built. And this car has to be done by January 1. And so we've already tore it down. The only thing that needs to come out is the uh, engine transmission rear end. Um, the car was actually pretty solid except for our, we thought it was going to be really good until we pulled out the windshield, me and Michael, and the dash just about came with it. I mean, literally it was, and you can pull this up. And so there's going to be a lot of work. I mean, when you see down, put your finger through it, uh, it needs work. So uh, if you guys went back and looked at videos, like when people are looking at cars, wanting to buy cars, that is one of the major areas. And of course the back glass. Um, but this, this everything's going to come out of this. It's going to get, uh, the frame's going to get blasted and um, all new suspension, firewalls are all gonna be redone. It's gonna match like all, like this car right here. So it's gonna look like this. And uh, I think we're even going with the tubular A-arms and, and so forth. So that's what's kind of been going on around here. There was actually, I shot a video last week and in my craziness of my life, I just didn't get the video put up and the boys' dad, Jay, contacted me. He's like, hey, you know, my boys are like really wanting to see some videos from you. And I thought, you know what? I, I need to do this for William and JJ. You know, I mean, I, I love kids and I love kids that are, are into cars. And, you know, of course, my favorite show is Supernatural. So, um, because today you don't see kids interested in cars and, and that kind of stuff. They're more into, uh, you know, video games and, and stuff like that. So anytime that I can, uh, help out a family and kids, uh, ask questions about the show, the cars, whatever. I mean, I want to do that because that's their interest. Um, so that's what we've got going on around here, guys. Uh, I want to thank you really from the bottom of my heart for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channels and following me on my pages and stuff. Uh, it means a lot. I love to see today's youth doing that. And, and like I said, you guys got to mind your dad, listen to him. He's going to lead you in the right place. And you guys are going to have a really badass car, I can promise you. So, um, and I'm just kind of showing you the, the project sitting around here.
I wish there was more than the three of us. Uh, right now, Don and Mike are kind of the, the muscle around here because I'm dealing with the customers and getting parts and stuff. And then when I got the downtime, I'm out here wrenching and stuff like that. So it's taken a, a lot of time to do things. So there is our video this week. Uh, William, JJ, thanks for following me again. And if you guys have any questions, tell your dad to get a hold of me, okay? You guys all be safe and have a happy and safe weekend. And we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.